So what is it really like being a cast member on The Real Housewives? Is there really this financial pressure to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak? Well, we are so happy to have a current and a former Real Housewife with us tonight. Both of them very successful businesswomen. Cindy Barshop is a former cast member of The Real Housewives of New York City. Great to see you. She is also the owner, by the way, of the spa Completely Bare. In Hollywood tonight, Leah Black, a cast member on The Real Housewives of Miami, which returns for its third season on Bravo, Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Great to have you both here. Thank you. So, Cindy, Thanks. let me start with you. Based on your time on The Real Housewives, are you at all surprised to, to see reality stars like the Judiches apparently living way beyond their means? No, I'm not surprised at all. Um, basically, if you put a group dynamics together, they take the wealthiest person, and everybody tries to be like them. I mean, I felt it in New York itself. I mean, these are people making an average income, and they're supposed to be affluent. And we see this play out in various aspects of the franchise. In fact, Leah, lack of money has really become sort of a theme on your show, Real Housewives of Miami. And in the new season, it actually begins with you fighting with another castmate who helped, uh, who you happen to help out during her financial problems. Let's look at that. I felt that she had betrayed me. I thought I was helping a single mother get back on her feet. And all the while, she was legally married to Frederick. Wow. So, Leah, we hear some housewives do find themselves under financial pressure to keep up with the Joneses. And as Cindy was saying, she actually does see that. Is that something you're seeing as well? I think if they feel that pressure, they're putting it on themselves. I don't think it's coming from Bravo, and I don't think it's coming for our producers, purveyors of pop. It's They don't influence it. They're not trying to make you appear anything than other than other what you are. I think, in fact, they would like for people to be who they really, really are, and that's what they want to capture. So if the women feel the need to you know, be more than they are, it's a choice that they make, and maybe it isn't just on the show. Maybe that's how they are really in life as well. Maybe it's just peeling back the layers. Yeah, no, that's I don't a, think people... That, that, that's a really uh, good I was point. Say, I, 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 go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I don't think people change that much. You know, I think it just becomes more of who you really already are. You know, if you downplay your money, you're going to downplay it more. If you upplay it, you're going to upplay it more. Perhaps. I, I I, yeah, well, I do have to believe that the camera's being on you. And look, this is your chance to show I, yourself off to the world. Yeah. You're, you're right, Cindy. You're going to want to try to put on the best yeah, show you, possible. Listen, you put on the best thing. They're also making, you, you create a character for yourself. I mean, I went on and I said, I want to be a successful businesswoman, which I am. I guess it's not a character. But I also did it to promote. Um, the spas completely bare. Other people go on to become what to to make money later on. So I felt pressure. I felt pressure. I had a birthday party for myself. I would never have a birthday party for myself <laughs> on a horse farm. Well, maybe oh, it's my birthday. No, continue. Unless it's to 25 years old. But listen, you make a great point. So many of the housewives we've seen over the years actually do a good job going on the show, sort of as an investment to actually become truly rich and famous. Sometimes right. it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you look at somebody like Bethany Frankel. Right. She's had rare. tremendous she's had tremendous success. So Leah, do you think it is worth spending a lot for people who may not necessarily have it to be or appear in a certain way on a show like Real Housewives so hopefully you can cash in big time later on? I don't think you have to spend the money to cash in later. I think the audience is root for an underdog. People like to help people when they're down. People like to see people struggle and go through the effort of making it in life. And I don't think you have to put on a show yeah, and be something that you're not. That's, that's not how yeah, I view the world. Okay. Can I say one thing? But the show is about affluence. And if you're not affluent, even just to get your makeup done could cost you, you know, $500, you know, every time you're going on the show and everybody gets their makeup done. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's got to okay, be pressure. I, I, and look, all, I mean, let me stop you right there. I, I don't do always get makeup? my makeup done and you don't have to do your makeup to be on the show. Oh, I please. think you, you, you <laughs> are <laughs> on the show. You, you know, know make all right, I'll, to get, listen, not get your makeup done. Oh, you've you opened, you've opened up a whole other can of worms hours, here. I, I could go on, I could go on all night about that. I do have to end it there, but it is really interesting insight. And I think there is a lot of pressure that people do feel just everybody handles it in different ways. Cindy, Leah, great to have you both here and make sure you catch Leah Black on season three of The Real Housewives of Miami. It debuts on Bravo Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern.